The cost to educate a child at Christ the King is just over $8,000 a year, but our tuition is around $4,000 a year. So clearly there's a gap. And how do you make up that gap? Well, some of that money comes from the parish itself, some comes from donations, but the rest of it comes from the interest that's generated from the educational trust. So our goal is always to have a fabulous Catholic education at Christ the King and to provide the very best level of Catholic education we can provide both now and in the future for our kids. You know, it's always a sacrifice when parents make the decision to send their kids to Catholic schools. But at Christ the King, we're really fortunate that we have the money that comes from this educational trust because it keeps our tuition at a more affordable level and enables parents to send their children to Christ the King paying a tuition that really is far less than what it actually costs to educate those children. So your gift to SPICE or to the Educational Trust really fuels that whole process and enables the trust to help support the school, which keeps the cost of education down for every child that goes to Christ the King. It was established in 1980 by Monsignor Gass, who was the pastor at the time, and 11 other parish leaders. And I think they just felt that there was people coming that needed tuition assistance and they wanted to make sure that parents could provide Catholic education for their children. So they thought this was a long-term solution to making sure that that would always happen at Christ the King. But starting in 2006, the trustees adopted a, a principle that they wanted to grow the trust so that eventually the trust would provide one third of the school operating expenses. That couldn't happen right away, but uh, to start down that road. So, and at the same time they began underwriting the uh, school cost. They set a goal of every year providing between seven and a half and 12 and a half percent of the school operating costs. So since that year, 2007 was the first year, they've now provided over $5 million of funding and the trust has grown at the same time from $4 million to $8 million. So that goal is slowly getting closer and closer and we're underwriting more and more of the school costs every year. So it was several years later in 2007 when Tom and I co-chaired the dinner with Jeff and Kathy Neary. And we embarked on a little bit of a public relations campaign. And one of the things that we decided to do was to change the name of it. And we came up with the acronym SPICE which is supporting parish investment in Catholic education. And we felt like that more closely reflected the mission of the dinner. And it also painted a picture of it being kind of a fun social event where you can come and be with your parish family and kind of build that fellowship, build that community. In addition, it had some other kind of neat Holy Spirit things. The spices, as you know, are used to flavor um, food, to enhance food, to add interest and sometimes even to preserve food. And that is analogous to how our Catholic education flavors parish life. It adds interest, it adds a, a dynamism to it, and it helps preserve our parish by strengthening it over time. In addition, there are many, many biblical references to spices. And spices um, are fragrant offerings and gifts and we see this event as a way for us to bring our gifts and to share our gifts for the betterment of the community. Well, the funds are transferred every year uh, at the Spice Dinner to, um, to the parish for their use in covering education costs. And that, that education cost includes costs of the school, faculty development, tuition assistance, and scholarships. All of those things are covered by the monies that are given annually from the Ed Trust over to the parish. Well, I think it's important because it keeps the cost of Catholic education more affordable. And, it, it, and it's important for everyone in the parish because the school families benefit because school costs are lower so their tuition can be held down so the families can afford it. And all the rest of the parishioners, typically in a parish with, with a school, the parishioners are help, helping underwrite that Catholic education. Well, we can, un, by underwriting that education, we can lower the amount of their contributions that go to underwriting Catholic education, and they can go to other uh, important things that are going on in the parish that, that need funding too. Well, the bottom line is a strong school makes for a strong parish. So at Christ the King, at any parish, part of the mission is to educate our children into faith. We nurture their faith from the point of their baptism on through to their adulthood. 
And one of the ways we do that is by having a very strong Catholic school that's vital, that's faith-filled, and that provides them the education, but also encourages our children and our families to grow in their faith. So one of the really greatest aspects of a Catholic school is it involves the entire family. And so our students that attend our school, typically those families are practicing their faith, they're attending Mass, they're participating in the sacraments, and they're volunteering at the school and in the parish. That enhances parish life and it brings a vitality to the parish that might not otherwise be there and that as a parish community, we have a shared parish vision for the Catholic education of our students, the Catholic life of our families, and ultimately to bring all of us closer to God, which is the goal.